recording. Stop recording. But Hello everybody. Oh y'all can hear me. Um someone expressed to me through a text that um they couldn't hear me. So I hope y'all can hear me, but I can't turn off I cannot turn off the fan because it's hot in here. It's really hot in my room. So sorry about that. I'm not gonna be able to do that, but since I missed yesterday, I decided that I'll read two stories today. Not stories, two books today. Little books, things. And, um, I'm gonna do them in the same... Actually, no, I'm gonna do them all separately, but this is the first one today. Um, and this is about, like, kind of remind me of yesterday will the dead really live again so because that has to do with suffering and this one is called will suffering ever end <clears throat> has the same little thing that i showed y'all before Copyright 2013. <clears throat> so here we go. Will suffering ever end? Would you say yes, no, maybe? What the Bible says, God will wipe all tears from their eyes and there will be no more death suffering, crying, or pain. Re Revelation 21-23 D, I think, or 4. Um, contemporary English version. What that can mean for you, assurance that God does not cause our problems. James 1-13 Comfort from knowing that God feels for us when we suffer. Zacharia, Zacharia 2 8. Hope that all suffering will end. Hope that all suffering will end. Palm, Psalm uh, 37 9 11. Can really believe what the Bible says. Wait, can we really believe what the Bible says? Yes, for at least two reasons. One, God hates suffering and injustice. Consider how Jehovah God felt when his people in Bible times were cruelly mistreated. The Bible says that he was distressed because of those who were treated them those who were treating them abusively that's in um those were in that word those three words were in quotes um judges 2 18 new world translation Okay, we're still on the first one. Um, God has strong feelings about those who harm others. For example, the Bible says that, open quote, hands that shed innocence, innocent blood, close quote, are des, des, detestable to him. Proverbs 6, 16, 17. The second reason. God cares for us as... You too. Now, new for creeps. As can... As, as individuals. And 
that's underlined, I think. So whatever four six means, I think that's underlined. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Not only does each person know, open quote, his own plague and his own pain, close quote, but less does Jehovah. Two Chronicles six twenty nine thirty. This was, oh, through his kingdom, Jehovah will, Jehovah will soon end the suffering of each individual. Matthews 6, 9, 10. In the meantime, he tenderly comforts those who uh, sincerely lost look for him. Act seventeen twenty seven two Corinthians one three eight or four. It's hard to read. I don't know. I don't know. If you do not have a Bible, you can read it online at the same one from yesterday. I mean, for, the same one from the day when you for, when you read this. It's the same one. Um. That's really it. Now, what to think about is why does God allow suffering? The Bible answers that question at Romans five twelve and two Peter three nine. To learn more without cost, self same stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, so before I go to the next one, I would like to talk about this question they asked. Um, why does God allow suffering? Because he put the people who are being suffered on this earth because he has a plan for them. You must fail to succeed is what I always believe in. So I feel like if you're blind one life, next life you'll see. So I can't wait for that to happen. Although I don't want to change who I am because of others. So that's what I think. Now on to the next one. I can turn this down, I think. for a couple of years, yo. Sorry, I had to fix this real quick. Okay, this book is called what is the key to happy family life? This one, I think, has to do with the next one is called um, What is the Kingdom of God? I don't know. I just wanted to let you know what the next one's called. Just in case if you want to come back and listen to that one tomorrow. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to be doing the, um, what I've been doing, uh, like, daily. I'll do, like, what I... Tomorrow I'll do like the whole thing after I read the other one. <laughs> what is the key to happy family life? Do you think it is love, money, something else? What the Bible says Happy are those are who wait. Happy hap, happy are those hearing the word of God and keeping it. Luke eleven twenty eight New World Translation What that can mean for you finding real love. What that 
can mean for you finding real love. Ephesians 5, 28-29 Enjoying gen genuine respect. Ephesus Ephesians 5.33 Having true security Mark 10.6.9 I think that's how you read it. I'm not sure. Sorry y'all, this binding is... all these into one book yeah. can we really believe what the Bible says yes for at least two reasons one God is the orig originator of family life the Bible says that Every family owes it its name to Jehovah God. Ephesus 3, 14, 15. In the other words, the family un unit exists because Jehovah created it. Why is that significant? Consider if you were enjoying a tasty meal and wanted to learn its ingredients. Whom would you ask? Logically, the person who prepared it. Likewise, to discover the ingredients for a happy family life, we do well to look to Jehovah, the originator of the family um, trend uh, oh, arrangement. Genesis 2, 18-24. The second reason is God cares about you. Families are wise to seek Jehovah's advice, which he provides through his word. Why? Because he cares for you. 1. Peter 5, 6, 7. Jehovah has your best interest at heart, and his counsel always works. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Isaiah, Isaiah 48, 17-18. If you do not have a Bible, you are seeing stuff. Okay, now, here's something to think about. How can you be a good husband, wife, or parent? The Bible answers that question at Ephesians. Ephesians 5, 1, 2, and Col Colossians, Colossians 3, 18, 21. Uh, discuss the Bible with, the, with Jehovah's Witnesses. So I hope y'all like that. And sorry for the bleep that the non-believers in God, if there are some, just have to do this. Cause it's almost Christmas. And if it wasn't for God and Jesus, we wouldn't have Christmas. So. I hope y'all can hear me, Emily and Christina. I'm just joking. This is Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and come up for more videos. Stop recording.